Hey guys, so if you guys clicked on this channel, that means you must be interested in learning how to put up a fan or this specific fan or whatever, or you just want to watch my stuff. Whoa. Okay. Let's start over. So the demolition park was really fast. If you're looking for a chainsaw to put in your garage, you may want to consider it. This hacksaw has come in handy in so many places. If you guys want to look for a tool to put in your, uh, your tool chest and pull out once a year, this is it. Now we've got to figure out the overflow. Hey, what's going on you guys? So if you clicked on this channel, that means you must be in the market for an awesome fan just like that. So we just got them putting that fan up actually last night. Uh, I'm recording this video afterwards, obviously. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video and learn from whatever that video brings for you. So give me a thumbs up if you guys like it. If not, give me a thumbs down, leave me comments, whatever you like here. So we just wanna say thanks for being here and checking out our home series uh, content. We are doing a lot of how-tos and product reviews, and things like that. So I hope you guys will enjoy this home series uh, videos that will be coming out throughout this whole 30 days or so, as we are doing a lot of remodeling and some upgrades throughout our home. So stick around for that. And also for all those off-roaders, I will be putting out some uh, off-road content coming up in our FJ60. So I haven't forgotten about you guys. I still love off-roading and that will be coming soon. Until then, we'll see you guys at the next project. Hope you guys enjoy this content. All right, here we go. Okay, so this particular fan is by Beach Creek. And the reason why we bought this fan, well, there's two reasons why. One, it's black, and two, has a remote control. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open this up. I wanna show you guys all the parts that goes, that came with this particular fan. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to install this, just because it had no instructions, and I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to show you guys how this is done. Anyways, it's their 44 inch blade, and by Harbor Breeze, Beach Creek is the, um, the actual design, if you will. So let's get to it here. Now most of the stuff was already taken out and I just kind of threw it back in here so that you guys can get a good idea of what to expect in a box. And when you, if you've never put up a fan before, this can be, or it can look a little overwhelming, but I assure you, it's not that difficult. So it's got some flashing. And of course, the motor itself with the built-in LED lights. Let me open this up here. I think the screw that just came out. Uh, oh, maybe right here. Okay. And this is a remote unit that will have to tap into the power. And this is the mat that will go on the ceiling. Um, there's another piece in here. So what's nice about this particular, these kind of uh, newer type style fans is that this right here will go up into the ceiling and mount to the actual box, right? So then you're gonna mount this on the motor fan. Then you're gonna come in here and basically slide this. Let me see if you guys can see this. You're gonna come in here with, so this will have the motor and the fan all assembled. Then all you do is come in here and slide it right inside this little groove and drop it. Simple as that. So that's the key, is to get this piece mounted first, and that's all you gotta do, and then come back in here with this mounted with the motor, okay? Pick the whole thing up, climb the ladder, and drop this little socket, or this little ball into the socket, and let the ceiling hold the weight of the fan while you're doing all the electrical kind of stuff. So, and then you got all these trims to hide all these, you know, wires and things like that. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Here we go. 
So it's gonna go up in here like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on uh, off camera. But you guys kind of see what I'm doing right here, right now. Right? Or something like that. Okay. And I can do this holding the screwdriver. I'm sorry, holding the camera and do this at the same time. So I'm going to do this off camera, tighten this up, and then I'll come back. Sound good? The thing about this fan is that the blade is hidden inside the housing of the motor. So we got to take this upper part of this motor, uh, just basically like a shroud, off. So it's two, four, there's six screws on top around here. Loosen that up and this whole thing should pop right off. Then there are screws that came with the package. And again, this is like how it came, it's all loose. It's funny. So this was definitely open. I just hope that there's nothing missing. I got those six bolts off. Now there's a center pin that goes right through the center of this hole, this mount, and little cotter pin. Just pull the cotter pin out, pull this out. For now, put the pin back in the little uh, cotter pin back in the pin so you don't lose it. Put it off to the side. Okay, so just like that. Put this off to the side. Okay, now I need to go check with the boss to see if she wants the gray side down or the black side down. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've confirmed that the director wants the black side down, that's what we're gonna do. And on the fan, there's these little angled slots. You guys can kind of see down the camera. You're gonna basically, oops, black side down, Brian. You're gonna slide it in the little the fan housing, you're going to take your screwdriver, and this is nice because my screwdriver has a magnetic tip on it. this cover back on so you gotta remember to run the wires back through the top of the hole and one thing I want to mention here is there are these three little notches it might be hard to see on the camera but there's three little notches uh, this main cord one of those notches should line up with this main white cord right here so that you're not pinching the electrical wires. Okay, so just something to be mindful of. Note to self, do not lose these little screws. So if you're wondering what screwdriver this is, this is probably one of the best screwdrivers I ever bought. There's no trigger, you just push down. This is, a, uh, I think, a 40 foot pound impact wrench. So if you got something really hard to screw into, like a stud, this will go in effortlessly. That's what makes the noise, is that this is an impact hammer, or impact drill, meaning there's a hammer in there that's pushing the screw down into the screw itself. So you don't have to, you know, use muscles. Hence the word impact. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. Just... Shove these wires into the shaft. Okay, and we're gonna line up the shaft with with the hole. So where's that hole? There it is. I'm gonna take this pin, slide the pin through, and put the cotter pin on the little pin. Now we got those screw again. These screws are gonna hold the shaft down so they don't so they don't move. So these uh, two screws that goes right here to hold the shaft together, you don't wanna put one all the way through and then the other, cause then the shaft will be kind of kitty wampus. So you wanna bring those two screws in evenly. Okay. All right, so here we go. I think we're ready now. So I'm gonna go back up to the ceiling and get this mounted and I'll bring you right up once everything is wired and we'll go from there. All right, oh, here's my flash. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, I think this is the most difficult part here is actually getting this mounted up on the ceiling. But once that's done, as you guys can see, this is basically free floating and then you drop this right into the mount. And this mount, this little key in here, it's like a little notch, it'll set right in there so that this won't move once you get it up and onto the mount. Okay, so for the moment of truth. Okay, so now we've got all the uh, wiring hooked up, hooked up, and we know everything works. One thing that I miscalculated was I forgot about how I'm gonna mount this uh, remote control box. Well, come to find out there's a little slot up here. Okay, that's where the remote control box will squeeze in there. And then your wiring. So basically I did have to redo the wiring so I can get this box slid into that little slot for things to work out. But now that we got a little better light up here, let me go over the wiring uh, configuration. So there are wires hanging out on both sides of the remote control. One side has, the, and they're all labeled pretty good. So on one side it says um, uh, white, neutral, and then AC in, and AC neutral. So those wires needs to go to the wire that's coming out, out of the ceiling from the house. Then I've got all the ground wires, which are green, tied to this copper bare wire. Then on the other side of the remote, you have these black and white wires. And these connects to the wires that came out of the motor of the fan. So again, connect those white to white, black to black white to white, black to black, that's coming out of the, the motor of the fan to the wire coming out of the, the remote control box, okay? And then all the blue wires, which are the two blue wires, will connect to the red wire coming off this Romax. And that's all, that's all there's to it. So I hope that was helpful. Let me go ahead and um, button this thing up here, squeeze the wires in, and put my flashing on, and and then put my cover on for the light and we should be done. So stay tuned. Okay, so now I've got that cover on which covers the remote control and all the wires. So that's how it goes on. That's how it should look when you're all said and done. 
Mmm, I don't know about you guys, but I can watch that fan turn all day. That is a thing of beauty. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed our home series. Uh, we've done some few videos right now uh, as we're remodeling our bedroom and our bathroom. So as we go along, we're doing some of these product reviews and also do a lot of how-to videos for you guys. So hope you guys are enjoying that. And if you like this video on this fan installation and the review, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see some other videos like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell down below so you guys get notified when we upload all of our content. Anyways, I'm Brian with FJ60 Wagon Family. Hope you guys will stick around and we'll see you on the next project.